now we're getting into the heavy stuff. This second movement, entitled The Fear, opens with ominous tones representing a darkness spreading through the land. I envisioned Ottoman horsemen emerging from cloudy mountaintops and their evil sights set on the towns lying before them. The violin starts to saw back and forth, back and forth as the pace quickens to a gallop. Their horses gain speed descending upon the unsuspecting civilians. In the frenzy of the invasion, the Turks use their spears to round up all the men, the women, and the children and put them in a forced march across the desert. We hear the relentless violence represented through the bellowing brass and the shrieking strings, answered by the weeping prayers of a violin which represents the army in plight. Back and forth we go, back and forth, until nothing is left but the ashes of bodies strewn all about. The stark sound of a duduk, an Armenian instrument, emerges from the smoke. A lone violin leads us into the final theme, an Armenian hymn titled Mi Ein Sur, Mi Ein Der. One is holy, one is Lord. Human history has been plagued with atrocities like these. Whether it's Armenia in 1915 or Germany in the 40s, whether it's the Crusades at the turn of the second millennium or Syria today. We as a species can't seem to keep our hands clean. Why is that? I don't know. What are we looking for? What is it that we want? I'm not sure. But it's probably anything we don't already 